Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another trophy list review. This time we're going to be talking about the Platinum for Elden Ring. What I thought about it, how it made me feel, and the experience overall. I want to talk about why this trophy list was so much fun to complete, and my opinions and thoughts on what the trophy list could have did better, what it did bad, and ultimately if it's the right trophy list for you! You know, in case you decide you want a Platinum. So if you're thinking about getting into Elden Ring, you've come to the right place. So my initial first thoughts on Elden Ring, or rather like my overall opinion and viewpoint on it, is that it's a really fun Platinum and I really enjoyed this game's trophy list. It, it's very good. The trophy list is designed in a way so that like it gives you just enough optional stuff that you don't have to do that is very satisfying to do. There's a lot of stuff uh, in this game, and because it's such a big game, you know, it, it, this is good to have lots of optional things to do. It really gives you your bang for your buck, it makes the experience more worthwhile, and it's satisfying to get this optional stuff. That is the really fun part of it. I would argue that's the best part of this game's trophy list. And overall, I just, I had a blast with the game, it, it is such a great game. And, uh, platinuming it was a lot of fun. But, this game's trophy list also, uh, has some things about it that I think it could have did a lot better. For example, I I'd say, I don't know, like, fucking 80% of this game's trophy list is just to kill bosses. And that is a real waste of potential. This trophy list could have had a lot more really interesting trophies and cool stuff and ways to have the player... Just experience more of Elden Ring, which would have been the better way to go, in my opinion. Because this is a big game, and there is a lot to do in it. There is no shortage of content here, so there were definitely plenty of other trophies you could have implemented instead of just kill, insert, boss here. Like, And, and the thing is, a lot of these bosses uh, that have trophies are fucking mandatory bosses. I can understand optional bosses that you don't have to kill in order to beat the game, I can understand them having trophies tied to them, but not so many bosses that you actually have to encounter and defeat. Like, why are there so many? There's a trophy for Godric who's mandatory, there's a trophy for Radon who's mandatory, Horalu the Warrior's mandatory, Fire Giant, and the thing is, yes, I know on this trophy list there's way more optional boss trophies than there are uh, mandatory story ones, but the, still a lot of these trophies are just a complete waste to have because, like, even trophies, like, for example, there's a trophy to defeat Shardbearer Melania, which makes sense because she is such a hidden boss and you don't have to beat her in order to complete the game, but why is there a trophy for Loretta, Knight of the Hallig Tree? Like, that just seems like such a waste. Yes. I know she's an optional boss as well, because she's in the same area as Melania, but you have to beat her to get to Melania. So why not just have the trophy for just Melania? Why is there a trophy for Loretta as well? Obviously, people are going to beat her while trying to get to Melania, so it's just a wasted trophy. You could have made that something else. The mandatory bosses really don't need trophies, in my opinion. Uh, those were somewhat wastes of trophies. But I could definitely understand, like, because that's the thing. This is far from the first game to suffer from something like that. H hell, look at fucking Resident Evil 4. That game is famous for doing that. You get more than half that game's trophy list just from beating the game and completing the story. That is pathetic. But I could totally understand, like, if you're going to have story-based trophies, you should only have a handful. Uh, but I absolutely understand there always being a trophy to, like, for example, complete the game. Because beating a game, no matter what game it is, is always a very satisfying achievement. That's something any gamer can enjoy. And it definitely feels like an accomplishment. So I can understand having a trophy for something like that. And overall, I mean, this game's trophy list, uh... It could have been bigger. Like, this game has 42 trophies. Like, there's a... I've played a lot of video games that had 50-plus trophies. And that, to me, is a lot. And for a game this big, I feel like it should have had a trophy list that long. There should have been 50 plus trophies, because there's definitely enough to do here in this game that would warrant having that many trophies, 100%. So it's a shame that they only put 42. Mind you, 42 is not a small amount of trophies. Like, 
There's games that have like like 30 to 35 trophies. That to me is a pretty small trophy list. So 42 is kind of in the middle. It's not too small, it's not too big, but it could have had more and it's just a shame. And the way this game's trophy list is, is, is designed is like uh, 80% of it is just kill boss, kill boss, kill boss, or like story related stuff. And then you got the handful of trophies that are like to get all the legendary armaments, all the legendary ash remains, all the uh, legendary sorceries and incantations, and all the legendary talismans. That's only four trophies. And it kind of makes it so that the player is going to play the game in a way where, like, yeah, they're optional stuff to do, which is great, but the player is going to go out of their way to get that stuff, and that's going to be the main motivation for, like, deviating from the path, not following the main story road that leads you to the mandatory content. And I feel like people will just kind of beeline for those things, and then that's it. And even for a lot of these trophies, there's not too many of said required item. Like, for example, the Legendary Ash and Remains. I'm pretty sure there's only like six of them in the game. You could clean those up pretty damn quick once you get to the end game. So, and, you know, and I had people in my chat whenever I would live stream this game. Uh, some people were like, man, I got the Platinum and it, it was a lot of fun, but I wish there was more to do. And I kind of understand where they're coming from with that. Because, like I said, it doesn't take that long to get all the legendary stuff if it's your main focus and, like, you're just beelining for those things. This game is so big that you would think there would be a lot more, uh, you know, optional stuff that you can do. Like, there's so many optional dungeons scattered throughout the entire map with content. Like, there could have been trophies for doing specific things in those dungeons. Some dungeons have some really clever puzzles. And maybe you could have, like, had a trophy tied to those, like, uh, to make you feel more accomplished once you figured them out. That would have been a good idea. There was a trophy for, uh, fully upgrading a weapon, and that's very common for Souls games. Uh, there's always trophies tied to, uh, upgrading something most of the time. But still, I definitely think this game's big enough, uh, where you could have had more trophies that would further immerse the player in the world they were in, feel like they were really experiencing the world around them. Like, for example, this game has so many NPCs, and so many of them got neglected. Like, for people like me, for trophy hunters, the trophies are our mandatory focus. It's all we're focused on, and a lot of the time, if something isn't tied to a trophy, uh, most of the time, the player won't even experience that stuff that's uh, irrelevant to trophies because all they really care about is the trophies. And I do understand that, you know, like for a real gamer who like truly loves the game in and out, those players e would still go and experience those things, do the side quests that weren't tied to trophies because they just love the game that much and they want to experience more of what the game has to offer. But I'm just saying like for a truly well-made trophy list, this game's trophy list could have implemented that in some way. You could have had trophies tied to completing characters' quest lines. Hell, there's only a handful of NPCs that are, like, truly important to the Platinum. Like, uh, Fia's really important, uh, Rani's really important, Selen is really important. And those are the three off the top of my head who are, like, super important. But then you have all these other NPCs in the game who are really interesting, uh, like Dung Eater. And it just feels like such a missed opportunity because you could have had the players experience those side quests through trophies, but like now for a lot of trophy hunters, there's no reason to even uh, do other characters' side quests because they're not relevant to trophies. And you absolutely could have had, like, there's room on this trophy list to include trophies like that. So that feels like another really missed opportunity. It really is a shame. That's definitely something this trophy list could have did a lot better, but still, this game's trophy list is fantastic, and I would say that it was the most fun and the most enjoyable trophy list out of any Soulsborne game. Every other Souls game I could think of had some sort of pain in the ass trophy. Hell, don't even get me started on Dark Souls 3's trophy list. That game probably had one of the worst trophy lists out of all the Souls games. Fucking having to play through not just all of New Game Plus, but you have to get to New Game Plus Plus to get all the rings in the game, and that was a trophy, to get all the rings. What a fucking waste of time, and what tedious bullshit that was. That was a really shit trophy. 
And I am so glad that Elden Ring didn't have any trophies like that. Like, every trophy was fun to get in this game. And it, 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 none of them were really grueling experiences, or they didn't feel taxing or exhausting or draining in any way. They were just fun to get. A lot of the other Souls games had stuff like that. Like, don't even get me started on uh, Covenants. Covenants suck. They are the worst things about every Souls games trophy list. When a Souls game first comes out, Covenant trophies aren't too bad because they're usually involved with the multiplayer in the game uh, in some way. And getting the required items for the Covenants through multiplayer wasn't too bad and it was actually a lot of fun. But once a Souls game has been out for a long enough period of time, eventually the player base dies, nobody's playing anymore, and it becomes next to impossible to complete Covenant requirements through online multiplayer methods. So then you end up having to use the offline method, which is almost always such a horrible, grueling experience where you'll have to kill an obscure enemy over and over and over and rely on a very low chance of drop rate for like a specific item that you need to level up your covenant and god forbid the enemy you're grinding is a pain in the ass to kill like those trophies are so awful they are the worst things about the souls game trophy lists thank fucking christ that elden ring had no covenants or no bullshit like that there were no trophies even remotely that annoying in this game so that was a blessing in and of itself. It's almost like whoever made the trophy list for Elden Ring wised up and was like, "Man, these trophies suck. I'm not going to I'm not even going to include them." So that was great. That was a load off my mind and I'm sure all of you guys who are trophy hunting in Elden Ring would feel the same way. Elden Ring overall, fantastic experience, great game, had a great trophy list. And that's overall my opinion on Elden Ring's trophy list. It could have been a little better. Uh, there could have been more thought and creativity put into it, but it was still great, and I am beyond over the moon that Elden Ring had no bullshit, grueling, awful, time-consuming RNG trophies. Thank God for that. So, because of that, this game gets absolutely a pass in my book, and it definitely has the best trophy list out of any Souls game. So Elden Ring definitely did something right. Also, if you guys plan on going for the Platinum yourselves, then please don't forget to check out my Path to Platinum Elden Ring video, because it's up on my channel. I just made it. It's brand new, covers the whole game, how to get every trophy from beginning to end in order, and if you follow along with the video while you play, you're guaranteed to not miss anything. And yes, this game does have missable trophies, so you gotta be careful with that. You don't wanna be playing a second playthrough when you don't have to. So please use my guide, that's why I made it, and I hope it helps you guys out. And of course, don't forget to check out the Path to Platinum playlist, because Path to Platinum is my very own unique series, meaning I've covered a multitude of games. So if you want trophies in other games, you can check out that playlist. Maybe you'll see a game that might interest you. Maybe it was a game you were thinking about playing or getting into. Check out those videos for more trophies. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the trophy list in the comments. I love to discuss this sort of thing with you, so feel free to do that. Share your thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, of course, hit that notification bell to support me. I would really appreciate that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Take it easy. Have a good one. And I will definitely see you in the next one.